If you or the customer ever need to make any programming changes to the phone system, such as names of extensions or button programming, system speed dial changes, that sort of basic thing, there's a simplified interface that's available. You can access that by opening a web browser and entering the IP address of the phone system, which should be indicated on a label that's applied to the front of the phone cabinet. Type in that IP address and you'll see a login screen like this. The username is all capital letters, A-D-M-I-N, and the default password is 12345. As soon as you type that in, click on login. And in a moment, you should see that simplified administrative interface available to you. Click on PBX configuration, and if I wanted to go into uh, a system speed dial, I could go down to feature, and right here is system speed dial, or if I wanted to do some changes on maybe some names of extension numbers, I can click on extension and then wired extension, and inside there there's extension settings, which indicates all the names of the different phones. I can also click on flexible button, and on that programming screen I can choose which options are available on which keys. I also have under group, incoming call distribution group, and choose the last option member. Under group, incoming call distribution group, and member, you'll see a drop down list for every single line, and below that, each phone that's going to ring for those incoming calls. So if I want to turn certain phones on or off with ringing assignments, I can do that. Also under here, uh, option 10, CO and incoming call. Option two, DIL table and port settings. Inside that screen determines if day or night mode is engaged where those calls go. And if I can scroll over here, you see that on day, lunch and break modes, they're going to this respective incoming call groups that I just showed you. But on night mode, if that's engaged on the phone, then it's going to extension 500, which is the shortcut to voicemail. So in this particular configuration, whenever they push the day-night button and toggle it onto the night mode, or if they have a program for automatically shifting from day and night mode based on time of day, this would be the screen to control which lines actually follow those rules. One biggest thing to remember about this interface, any changes that I make, I wanna make sure I click on apply first. If I click OK, sometimes that'll prompt you to click Apply or save those changes, that's OK. Once I click OK, it closes whatever window that I currently have open in this uh, right-hand space. Once all of my changes are done for the day, and I'm pretty comfortable with those, I go up to this little icon that looks like a floppy disk, and I click on Save System Data, and then I choose Yes. If I do not do that, all the changes that I made in the web program interface will be lost as soon as there's power lost on the phone cabinet. So by clicking this option, Save System Data, it actually writes it to a permanent memory. So if the power of the phone cabinet goes off and on, all of the changes that we made today are still intact. So don't ever forget to click on that option there with a the little uh, Save System Data uh, floppy disk icon. Once I'm done with all the changes, I click on Log Out and I'm presented back with the login screen.